Welcome back to the Theory Expo. We are trying to cover this. We're still covering this ah- Ahsoka action. Um, we've been, we've been, um, uh, you know, we started off with the way we started off, and I wasn't worried, right? I wasn't worried, but you still got that. Oh, you know, it's, it's getting down to the home stretch. Now it's now it's like you look up and it's like, damn, I mean, we only got one episode left, it, man. and it's still a lot going on, like. <laughs> So like yeah, it's this, a lot of yeah. meat still on the bone, oh, yeah. right? There's a lot of meat still on the bone about what what could possibly happen or whatever, and we're gonna get there because you know there's like right now beyond what the episode brought to us. And you said it before we started talking. Beyond what the episode brought to us in its totality from this episode seven, excuse me, really now into the point of the for real theorizing, right? Because that's all we got left is the theorize was about to happen until we obviously when we see it, but like. We got seven episodes of information. What do we think that's gonna happen? And then what do we? And then like like finale. But then I don't know if you see it this way, but it don't it don't seem like it seemed like yeah. What what happens in the finale? But then what happens after the finale? Yeah, that's <laughs> right? really the question. Like right? it seems like it's a lot of stuff that's gonna happen after. What spills the finale. over into these uh, into the Mandoverse? Like yeah, 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 know, yeah. Like I didn't, technically, I didn't, this is a part of the Mandoverse, right? And then so. I think I think in the beginning of the episode, we we got confirmation. We they, we already knew it was part of the Mandoverse. Yeah, but then we got confirmation. We got like Fish, timeline yeah. confirmation, right? Like yeah, you we, that, yeah. we got timeline confirmation yep. going Mentioned on. In here, Gideon, so. yep. Yeah, yeah. So that was pretty dope. But um, this is kind of getting to it uh, again, like you know how we do it. We talk about different pivot points, and then we discuss the pivot point, like mm-hmm. anything that stuck out to us. Uh, right. Pause. Anything that was <laughs> anything that was that was laid out that we think we needed to that, yeah. we, that we find intriguing. We we just go and then, you know stop me if you need to. You know you know how I got it. I got my things that I I synced. But you might have synced mm-hmm. something that I didn't I didn't uh, bring up, but we're gonna Too start. Bad. Yeah, we're gonna begin. We begin the episode with hair in front of the Senate in Coruscant with uh Senator Siona giving. I'm gonna call it General Thanger, giving her tough time <laughs> to guard and, and unsanctioned her unsanctioned expo, exploits and Cetos. Yeah, he, he ain't trying to hear about no no Jedi, no lost Jedi, Man. no Thrawn, no Boy, space he on, whales. He on her back. He on her back. No none of that. He just wants to point out that hair what hair did was unauthorized and a misuse of power. Just found out, uh, and I just found out that he was the Hosnian Prime Senator. I don't. I don't know how much that means, but I know that, that by the time we get to the end, right, that's the that's the main one. Single trilogy, yeah. Yeah, but he's a Hosnian Prime senator. Um, I actually think it's dope that I think it's kind of dope. Like I say, I I, I never watched uh, what's that other that the, uh, the one where he's the he got the son on that little cartoon show. Oh yeah, but like, but yeah. like you know, I think, but him, him seeing him like this is like a obviously it's a new character, or whatever. But like this is not this is I I, I like him. I I like him being in this, like the dynamic of him kind of being the face of the. New Republic Senate, right? You know, you might not like what he's saying, what he's doing, but like he's, a, I, I feel like he's an interesting character. I, I never watched the cartoon. I don't know what that brings, but I kind of, I kind of, I know it's going to be some smoke when he show up on the show, but then yeah. to the day, um, like he's a good said, foil, also, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. yeah, exactly. For, like I also think he's going to be around through the end of the Mandoverse, basically as the face of the new Republic. We get Carson Tava. Carson Tava brings up the exploits of Moff Gideon, but Ziono provo- uh, brushes the uh, Imperial Remnant. He basically says it's fake, fake news when you break up Imperial Remnants, right? Um, it seems Hera's about to get court-martialed, but in comes Mr. Human Cyborg Relations himself, C-3PO, and um, uh, with a transcript from the leader of the Defense Council, Leia Organa. My mom mm-hmm. wasn't really bond, but does ask Hera how a real threat how real the threat of Thrawn is. Hera mm-hmm. lets her know, prepare for the worst. And then we get the title card, um, Dreams and Madness. So I kind of want to go back to this real quick. I want to ask you real quick about uh, Ziono. I, I, I didn't want to ask this, but I'm going to ask this now. Do you think Ziono is at all an imperial remnant payroll? Like, is he on the payroll? Do you think, are we just kind of getting led to believe that maybe he... I think we get led that? to believe. That gets like just kind of put uh, out. There, yeah, right? it seems it seems like I could see him. I could see him being sort of like that, being like a red herring where we think that is him this entire time. Then somebody else come up and like boom, stab him mm-hmm. in the back. Somebody yeah. that we think is cool, you know, they actually end up being on the payroll, like one of the other senators. I yeah, see that happening. I just think it's it's a little bit too on the nose. It really he, is. On he, the nose he just has right so much opposition of what you know. He just will not hear anything that Hera got to say about. Uh, possible 
conspiracy from the um, Imperial Remnant. Um, but it is on the nose. So I could see somebody else coming in and being like, you know, and that sounds like some Star Warsy, right? Where, you know, whether it be the, you know, it's not going to be the Sith, but I'm just saying like how, how the Sith Lords moved, you know, in the, yeah. in the prequels. And it's just, you know, I could see somebody else really being minded, you know. Because there's a being part a of it, right? There's a part of it when you like, like you take, you take the, because like the way they portray the New Republic, like Mandoverse is playing with the New Republic, right? Yeah. Well, you kind of this. Let's let's get out the like the the root for the one guy, root for somebody else kind of ideal of it, right? You know, like good versus evil, whatever. And you look at it, and you look at Ziono, and you are like, damn, why is he acting like? Look, he they just said, look, they just they brought him off Gideon. That's that's a remnant stuff that's happened in Navarro. Stuff, um, um, uh, you know, then Moth got away, right? And then you got the when they went to Cetos, they saw the they saw the whales. There's other things that are happening. Right, but they, but if you if you old enough to remember that you say that's you, so we're saying all these things have happened, right? But the people in the in the Republic wasn't skeptical, like the the, the real Republic, like mm-hmm. like Palpatine and Padme and all them. They had that was an orchestrated event, right? <laughs> By one right. person, right? <laughs> then you got the clone, the Clone Wars was an orchestrated event, and nobody was skeptical, right? <laughs> right. So like the like the things that are happening, I can see why somebody would be skeptical now. Like y'all just look, man. That's how we failed the first time. Like you're gonna have to bring more than just that because we ran with our heads cut off once the separatists showed up with the droids and we went on and signed up and got a million million clones and then yeah. we was on the appeal rule for all this time. This that and yep. the third. We can't just do that for we commissioned the right? army and, and just uh, just just kind of on the other side of it, like with these different things. Now we I'm looking at it like, dude, come on, moth, moth. This, you know, other, you know, like you could, you could count them all the things we done seen. And he like, man, nah, y'all just. And then the, then the things that happened with the, you know, still in the hyperdrives, like what happened on, um, of course, uh, uh, Corellia, right? That just happened, right? Like, but they don't, you know, eat, like, nah, you have to come a little bit more than that. Like, it's it's a little yeah. weird that they don't know anything about the sea. Like he said, the sea whales, like he don't want to hear that. And it's like, <laughs> yo, your people's just sink that though. They yeah, just sink there, right? like three ships too. One day, like three, and, three, and three four ships. Actually, Two X Wings. They, they saw that. They 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 do reports. They do yeah. brief. You know. You know. They yeah, debrief. Like, so. So like yeah. you say, I think it's I think it's a little one to knows to try to paint him as a like okay we, we think he part of the, like he he's somewhere on somebody's payroll. I'm a doubt yeah. that, but yeah. it looked right. like it a little bit. <laughs> it seemed like it. Uh, and it could be man. Something like we we talk about this all the time. What they show us is usually what it is, right? It's usually what it um, is, right? So if he if he take a deal. You know, from if he, you know, at the in the finale, uh, a little mid credit scene, he take a deal or whatever. We, you know, it makes sense. But one thing that we um, we sort of lose track of is like we don't really, you know, unless you follow the books, which I'm not. I haven't really read the um, the new canon books, but and like we don't really know how much peace they've had in that five in this five year period. It might have been okay. five straight years of peace. So maybe that plays into the skepticism a little bit coming from him and some of the other senators. It just seems like, like I just wonder, uh going back to Mando season one, the whole you know, the whole thing with Moff Gideon and, and season one, two and three, is this the first time they really got anything from the Imperial Remnant? You know, has or yeah. has has this five years really been that peaceful? Cause it don't sound like they really they they haven't really done anything like to the point where Ahsoka wasn't even needed like she just never came yeah. around so it's like yeah. she 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 doesn't show up until it's a major threat again so it's like how much um, you know I I even go back to the first season of Mando when he um, uh, Greed tried to give him the uh, the Imperial credits and he's like I don't know if you know but you know Empire's <laughs> you know <laughs> and he, and then it's a scene it's a scene with Boba where uh, where he's like. Where he's surprised, like, yeah, the Empire's back, you know. It was like, yeah. It's, it's I always fire. thought that was a little weird, right? Like, when yeah. Boba did that. But Boba, you're right. Boba, like, don't know. Like, no, nah, they not might not have been around all the time. Like, they might have, he, that might have been the first time he's seen anything. I yeah, so I just wonder about this five years before uh, we got to, you know, we really caught up with the Mando versus, like, like, damn, man, how much peace did y'all have? Like, y'all mm-hmm. really must not Because I know in that first year they had to, like, be on high alert. You know, like, man, we just won the war officially. Um, but yeah, it just man, it's just like that five years must have really been peaceful, you know. And I think we kind of called it 
some to your point, I think we called that like in the first whatever. I think it might have been the the episode after when Hera, no, when Hera had to talk in front of Mom Mothman and them, and she was like, "Hey, Thrawn might be when the, with the holograms and like Thrawn is is real." This that, and the third, and they was like, "No, nah, we can't authorize for you to go over to Cetos. And we was like, we was kind of like, "Well, we don't know how many times Hera done brought that something like that up." That can make it look bad right now that they ain't gonna give her no help. But we don't mind any times like somebody, people like her, Leia, you know, they would say, like you say, the books and not, you know, I'd read and all this and all that. And, you know, Leia started being a warmonger, right? Like, they, you know, when she yeah. was, she started yeah. putting that at her. So it's like, we don't know how many times these people was always like, like on deck, like ready for something that was probably never there. Like, y'all need to pay attention. It's yeah. like, that's a little faction over there. Like, we'll wipe them out. We wipe, uh-huh. we wiping them out. Look, look at their unis. Like, they, they dusty, they dirty. Like you see when we did in Jack Cool, like this is nothing. Right. Nothing but even when you get to the even when you get to the sequel trilogy, that's not the Republic. The yeah. resistance is not the Republic. Yeah, they never get involved. Yeah, <laughs> they exactly. don't ever commission an army at all, or like a unless unless I'm a little blurry on uh Rise of the Skywalker. They don't that's just always the resistance. They don't ne- the they don't really like it's not a full scale uh war from the Republic, at least for those first two movies. No, nah, even, really. even 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 ROS. It yeah, was never, it's it was never, never like, no home it's never like the Republic that officially yeah. declares war on, on the first order. It's always just the resistance trying to keep, you know, the uh, first order from extending their reach on the gap. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, it just it, it like this might be they they own they last and only war for the next 40 years mm-hmm. is to fight Thrawn off, you know. So but just yeah, just you know, like you say the, the first one since the Emperor. Right, so since the second Death Star blew up, like there's nothing. I mean, I think Jab was put Jack who in there, but like since that period, since that period right. where they actually had to everybody signed off and yeah, you know the, the, the war is over. Like the nothing's probably has been all about no major threats, the yeah. New Republic, and you know amnesty programs and things of that nature. Like we really not going through anything. Another thing that I um real quick before we move on is like the the the. the if I missed this, you know, I don't know. I might have missed this again. Not not too up on the books, the new books, but in the old in the old EU, like they had to officially assign sign like the, the Empire officially like handed over like like all right, we defeated. You know what I mean? It was yeah, like yeah, yeah, we're done. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if they did that. In, uh, we haven't seen that on uh, in live action, or we haven't. Yeah, they haven't that. showed us that. They haven't officially, um, and maybe we'll see that at the end of this uh, Filoni movie. Where they officially declare victory over the empire, the empire officially, um, you know, there's some sort of treaty signed. So, so I think I think in the uh, EU it was called the Treaty of Coruscant. Mm-hmm. Coruscant. So maybe we'll get that at, at the end. Yeah, of the something to that name, like some like a like a live action. Yeah, where they officially where the empire says, all right, we go our separate way. We'll keep our fleets. We'll sign this treaty that we won't we won't attack, you know. And then that's how the first order, I guess, come up. But yeah, then they, then they all go in their own regions and do their thing. Yeah, that's yeah. that's actually interesting because, like, you're right. We never seen that. Um, and like, I, I agree with you too. Like this, this is they've this got to be they first. I, I'm, a, I'm let me say this better. You can see why they're not taking none of this serious and not really thinking. And, and from the people that saying stuff, probably always because even Mon kind of said a little line to her. When you talk to her, like, 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 let go of your feelings and like, like, it's Thrawn real, right? And then, then Hera says that. But like, when she said that, let go of your feelings line, like, you kind of always coming up with something, right? You, right. You, you, all your thing is about this because your, your whole life been about war. Like, let that just take a deep breath and tell me the truth. Right, right. We don't need really, the extra right now because we me, don't give know me facts and evidence. And, yeah, yeah, 100%. Don't just, don't just go off we your feelings. Know, like, we don't know if like Hera solo. Uh, uh, Leia through that whole like this whole time they just been like on guard and constantly like hey we better be we better be ready we better be ready and there's nothing they've been ready for because they kind of did yeah yeah uh, let's go on because we can talk right. about that I can, yeah, I, yeah, that's I can like keep talking about that I can keep talking right. about that one it's starting that makes sense um got that. um oh okay after this we uh we cut to Ahsoka uh on her ship training from a hologram tape that Anakin made. Nah. Uh, we see we see Hayden again, right? Um, um, we see Hayden again. They had the, uh, they had training tapes like this in Rebels, uh, namely season two. Yeah, um, but a couple of things he did. He named Ventress. He named my boy uh, Grievous. He named Dooku. Uh-huh. Uh, yep. Name dropped him. Uh, also, Ahsoka's training. Oh, 
Ahsoka training cabinet was lit. Do I? Yeah, man. I meant I got oh, that's in my notes. Her training. Yeah, we gonna talk I about. Saw, yeah, I got a prediction on that later. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I I need one of these in the office, right? <laughs> I need that. Yeah, I need yeah, one of them had, kind of training uh, cabinet. It was lit, boy. <laughs> she had the uh, the training uh, drones yeah, in there. A hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, uh, were those the ones that uh that Hu Yang uses when he do the? She throws or whatever you be saying, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, you know, whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that yeah. was or those lifesavers. We, we go over that later, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely got a um, prediction about that later. Okay, so yeah, we in there. Um, so good smiling. Boy. She's at a place now where she can appreciate Anakin as her master. She's back in her light, she's playful, and she's in a playful mode. To me, which is, I mean, I'm, I'm being silly, but to be honest, it was a little weird considering how pissy she was in the 10 seconds she was, uh, ep- the 10 seconds she was in the previous episode. Right. Like she was, and she was happy and feeling good. Um, kind of continue going. Next thing you know, we're ready to leave the Pergill and we get into some Star Wars axes that we see mm-hmm. some explosions happening everywhere, right? Yeah, right, this was wild. Wow, this this, this pickup right here. Uh, we get into some Star Wars. Yeah. Minefield, right? Yeah, there's some Star Wars action. We see explosions yeah. all around as Thrawn, around because Thrawn has laid space mines all over the place. Yeah. Um, all in the path. The Pergil bounce, but the Soka maneuvers, maneuvers his way, maneuvers her way into the whalebone astral. While this is happening, Thrawn is really receiving intel. Uh, we, uh, we see the Pergil's bouncing, we see Ahsoka doing her thing. Uh, <laughs> um, Thrawn is even intel on Ahsoka from the Inquisitor database, including knowing Anakin was her master, which leads him to know she'll be unpredictable and a bit, and a bit reckless, right? Uh, he proceeds to tell Enoch to pull back on chasing her. No need to waste resources. Now, I do have a question for you. Uh, do you think Thrawn should have already known Anakin was Ahsoka's master? Yes. I was uh, literally thinking that the entire time. Like, it was, it was sort of weird to me, man, and that's where I get kind of Start wondering about Filoni, man. You know, is he having another one of them Sam Whit 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 Whitmer? Is this one of them moments where he like, yeah, you know, they met. But uh, <laughs> like I started scouring my mind to, to think like, had they ever actually um, been in the same place at the same time? They wouldn't. But you got this whole background with Thrawn uh, again in the books, yeah, new canon where say, like, he knows Anakin, and, and apparently he was. Uh, I think he's smart enough to figure out that. Anakin was Darth was was Vader like so yeah supposedly he used the line the line the Han Solo line like when he said it to him like he said I'm I'm not that guy he said I know like but kind of using in a way that Han Solo when 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 Leia told him she he loved her she loved him in Episode Five and he said I know in the then supposedly I don't know if it's a new canon but he like he said she said that he said that to her and supposedly uh, Padme had said something like about like 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 told Thrawn that. Ahsoka was at, uh was 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 mm-hmm. Anakin's no oh, Padawan. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but like you say, that's that's out there. I, I don't I don't got confirmation. It's just me, like you say, you scoured right. your mind. I had to scour the webs. Right, but right. A couple of those things come up. And I was yeah, just, just off the top like, of my head, I'm trying to think like did they ever but it would yeah, you would think that he would be able to deduce that. Come on, man. That he, he had an apprentice and that was Ahsoka. Or that Ahsoka has some connection with with uh with Skywalker, especially when he 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 recognized Balin as General Balin. Yeah, he knew that. So we had intel on generals in the so you would think they was always, you know, Anakin and Ahsoka was like this during the war. So and, and, and it was a very public trial too, right? With uh Yeah, 100 <laughs> percent You know what I mean? In the Clone War. So with her getting booted out, I think he would have been up on that, man. So, you know, that was kind of weird to me. Um, you're right that could have been a feloni moment because he is not like he not i think he got a few that's in this episode so i you know that's that's the first one that i noticed like man feloni you sure about that bro it's kind of making he he seemed literally shocked yeah which i didn't like i I wasn't i didn't i didn't like that because i'm like damn what Thrawn kind of getting caught off guard a lot here you know it's one thing in the first episode it was like oh so good showing up okay then he like oh that's uh anakin skywalker was her master you know it's like and especially for him to know that much about Anakin, yeah, about his style to not know who his Padawan would have been. Yeah, Anakin was like, you figure too. that's like you you gonna know if you know that you Anakin is a little yeah. bit is different and reckless and unpredictable, right? I mean, you studied him, 
Yeah, there you go. So <laughs> unless you know, yeah, <coughs> you're, so not, I, reading, you're not reading. The, you're not reading a report like you. you still meaning yeah. like just that's all you got. Like you know, yeah. you was outside. Yeah, you was outside. You know better. So to say, yeah, to know all y'all. You, she's. That means she's gonna be reckless. And I mean, you know, you know who Anakin Skywalker is, man. You would have known that he had an apprentice. So that was kind of weird, but I felt like that was a felony moment. <laughs> I was like, all right, that's the first one though. That's the, I noticed yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, at least one more. You got, uh, you got a couple, a couple of thumbtack. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. we're gonna move on. Uh, back on Peridia, uh, we have Sabine waking up in Ezra Bean mode. Then she, mm. then she was, then she basically has been recapping the original trilogy for uh, mm. Ezra on this road. <laughs> It's the woman I was yeah. talking about. <laughs> she's trying to drop some exposition here for, for young yeah. Ezra. Like, she get him caught up on game. But there's always, remember, remember, man, there's always a reason for what they do. If something, when something come up on screen, I always look for, like, why did they show that on screen? And I feel like yeah. it's a reason here that they, they had this conversation. This isn't just for Ezra. This is for the audience. Okay. They, okay. Drop, a little, they drop a little jewel in there. Okay. You know, okay. To, okay. <laughs> and we about to get into that. Um, yeah. She still doesn't want to tell Ezra how she found him yet. While they're rolling, Ahsoka <laughs> uses the force to track down Sabine. But when she does this, one of the Night Sisters, I'm calling them Night Sisters, I don't know if it's Night Mothers, we just go, was Night yeah. Sisters, you know, we're going either uh, right. Great Mother, right? It's, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, they say Mothers and blah, blah, blah. But, what do they call uh, her? Great, uh, great Mother. She's on the same frequency and uses that to find Ahsoka's location. The chase is on and Ahsoka gets chased and shot at. Um, not, uh, one thing I'm going to point out is an underrated part of this show is how Ahsoka has crazy pilot work. She's been getting out of some situations flying. But let me ask you a question. I, yeah. Go ahead. I don't want to I don't wanna, I don't wanna sun that comment. I don't want to sun your comment. You I'll know, sun I my wanna, comment. Go ahead. You know, I don't want to make it like I am. <laughs> That's kind of like, I don't know, man. It's kind of like a Jedi thing, I guess. Okay. I, I see not, but let me, let me let me let me go back. She got crazy work. She, she got, she clear. No, what it is for me. Is you right though? I didn't know that Ahsoka was that good. Yeah. I expected from a Jedi. I didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. You never see her pilot work, right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't see her pilot work. We know that she can. She 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 known for jumping outside of her ship a lot. Yeah, her yeah. jump out the ship work. Yeah, the nasty. War. yeah her jump out <laughs> the ship work is, is nasty. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. Her piloting skills surprised me. That, yeah. that caught me. You know I mean? Don't because it's a Jedi, but it's like it do because I, we never seen it from Ahsoka. We never seen it from Ahsoka. We seen it from Obi Wan. We seen it from Anakin. You know, Luke mm -hmm. got crazy work. You know, usually Jedi's got crazy work, but pollen work. But you're right. Uh, that's a good point. Anakin, uh, Ahsoka, yeah, I never, we never seen that. And she was always flying with Anakin, right? Yeah, yeah, she always been co-pilot. So you know, did yeah. we know she'd jump outside of a ship and and, and you know she did that in uh, the Clone War finale. You know, what I mean, so that's the greatest jump out the ship <laughs> yeah. game ever, right? That one. <laughs> I don't know if anybody in anything ever well, got a jump sure out the ship he, in that like, one. He man, boy, he going back to that part. Like he, he keep bringing that back. Like, <laughs> yeah. You know, so but yeah, nah, you're right. Let me ask you you're a right. question. I got two questions, really. Um, why do you think Dave is stretching out this moment? When Sabine has to say, tell Ezra what happened, or is it even some, something to deal with at this point? So let me right. get to what I was talking about. Well, I don't want to make it. That's not the central reason, but I, um, yeah, I definitely think it's showing just more of uh, their chemistry, right? Because I think they got chemistry. Um, you know, showing them catching up is like getting gets getting Ezra caught up on the current events. What happened while he was gone, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but she do say something that's just that's, that's, that was weird to me. Oh, yeah. It's about yeah, the emperor, where going, man. Like, where you're going. <laughs> yeah, man. So, you know, she like, he like, and the emperor died? And she like, well, that's what some people say. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, Filoni, man, what you, what? Like, again, is this a Filoni moment? Because it's like, hey, bro, you know it. You know, Ahsoka met Luke. You know the timeline, Nacho. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I saw somebody. I don't want to complete. I don't want to make it like I came up with this one hundred percent on my own. So I kind of, I kind of like peeped the video that kind of brought it up. And it's like you know that they met, right? Like you know, Soka was with Luke, talking to Luke. So, and I, I think it was uh, the Echo Base Network. They brought it up. Mm -hmm. he, he made a good point. He made a video about it. Like um, Soka was with Luke. Like they looked comfortable with each other. Like you know what I mean? It wasn't like she just. <laughs> 
popped up on them. That wasn't their first meeting. We don't we we don't see how they meet, but uh, the fact that yeah, like they probably had a conversation about that. Like, oh yeah, you know my dad killed the emperor. You know, defeated the Sith. But that kind of yeah, that to me the fan in me is kind of like I'm, I'm kind of irritated because I'm like, hold on, man, because you kind of putting into question the whole like destroy the Sith, bring balance back to the Force. The whole the whole prophecy you kind of like messing with because it's like he killed the emperor you know what i mean he threw the emperor that, that whatever that thing is that come back and rise of skywalker that's not the emperor yeah yeah that's clone it's not really the emperor like right no, like clone. the sith never returned i'll no. stick i'll stick to that i'll stand by that but yeah to throw it in there like wait a minute so it's public knowledge that the emperor just may or may not be dead like I, you know see that's a good because the way i thought about that was was kind of kind of the converse of that statement is it public knowledge like, does how many people really know, right? And then yeah. now that makes sense. Because I would have been like, because I'm thinking like, because it made me want to ask a question. It's probably really not that smart to say, like, how close is Ahsoka and and, and Sabine? Really, <coughs> that's right? a good point. That's good. But obviously that's her Padawan. But it don't seem like yeah. she d- d- dwelled that much information. Um, uh, um, yeah, that's weird. Because like, like in that loop. But then they had Operation Cinder. Yeah. And Filoni has brought that up before. I know they so, didn't put that in that episode. That you know that episode with um uh, Mickelson, not Mickelson, but um with uh Bill yeah, Burr. Like, they didn't bring up Operation Cinder, and <laughs> and Farmer Ewan knew it, right? And no, shout out, right. no no disrespect to him, but Filoni probably told them to throw that in there, like yeah, Operation. Yeah, Cinder, I think so. He wrote it in there, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I, like, I, it's just So yeah. it's like it's like um everybody know what that was about. And then what it turned into, and then obviously, then, then blah blah blah. Uh, that was his dying wish. Like you know, he was that was post Emperor, right? In Operation Cinder, like, and that was a galaxy thing. Man, <laughs> you just made it worse. <laughs> like I'm sorry, uh, you just made me. I ain't even. I didn't even. I, honestly, I didn't think of Operation Cinder. You're right. And Sabine being an insider to something like that. It's not like she's. Yeah, just, yeah. She's not some people, right? No, she no, she was part she, of it. She's a part of it, man. Like she was she outside, blood, sweat, and tears into yeah, yeah, yeah. to win this war. You know what I mean? Lost friends, other than Ezra. You know what I mean? She got war stories, right? She was outside before Ezra even got there. She was outside. She was outside. Yeah, she was already there. She was an Imperial at one time, so it's like yeah. she been on both. She got a, she got a hell of experience. So she un, and, and somebody as smart as Sabine is who understands how the, the empire worked and what she would definitely understand something like operation center. Man, so, so to hear that and be like, come on, man, like this is a being bro. Like she, she would know if the emperor, not only yeah, that some uh, people, the empire thought that the emperor died. That sound like a line. Like I don't even think who could some, so that sound like a sign. Then Jarn would say, yeah, yeah. Then don't he, know. He's so oblivious. You're right. You're yeah. right. He oblivious. You say, you know, he could be skeptical about yeah. He been living in caves on. and shit. Greek cargo say some shit like that, like coverts oh, everywhere. Like, say. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the armorer would say that. Yeah, the armor be like. Some people would say the emperor died. What say you, Mandalorian? <laughs> <laughs> what say you, then? <laughs> you gotta say your tag line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Who are you? <laughs> Tell me, then. Have you ever taken off your helmet? <laughs> That's how you gotta end everything. Oh, but say man. you, but yeah, yeah, no, you're yeah. right, man. Because I, like I said, I, I was like, well, but yeah, Sabine wouldn't have been the one in that situation. Man, she would have been around too much. That's that a good point, bro. You, to you, be you, around because he ain't even because in the video he ain't even bring up he ain't bring up Operation Cinder. You right, man. Like that actually she was still scrapping. That make it worse. Like it's like you right because the emperor, the empire believed that the emperor died. So why, why yeah. put that line again? That's a felony moment. Because why put that line in there when the Empire believed that the Emperor died? So it's not just well, so that's what some people think. Why wouldn't if your if your army uh they concede that to the point where they they go into an operation they concede that the Emperor is fallen. If anything, it, the Empire just like a real army or, or a real Empire ran on propaganda, so they're definitely not gonna put anything out there to let the enemy know that the Empire is dead. That the Emperor is dead. They wouldn't do that if so. Yeah, it's just it's sorry, man. It's dumb. That's not a good line. You know what I mean? It's yeah. That's a slip up from Filoni, man. So yeah. yeah, it's not a good line. You're right, man. Operation Cinder makes that line uh, not you know some it's, it's a moot point, man. Because like, no, nah, the Empire believed that the Emperor died. Yeah, it's not just some yeah. people. Like, oh, 
anybody who know who's around who's outside it's like oh no the emperor died <laughs> otherwise they would just i could see if, if it wasn't no operation center and they just had this they was putting out propaganda like oh no he just you know the empire he, the emperor escaped and he's on a remote planet somewhere it's like all right that's that's that would make sense that's propaganda no nah, but operation center happened and that's definitely canon i've like, so. I, I seen a, i seen a thing where like because the operation center, not to big up myself, the operation center kind of throws a monkey rich in that because I seen something that was like where it could be kind of believe like like in real life, right? Real life, real, yeah. real, real world history. How many conspiracies is about Hitler? Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. How many conspiracies that that he lived in Argentina? He did this, but he didn't have a something else that happened after that where everybody true field or an order that was only contingent upon him being dead right but right. a general would never say that right general gonna be like oh no nah, he died this is how he died <laughs> you know like mm -hmm. they gonna know their history like somebody who's outside they gonna know their history like oh no nah, this this where this what happened i mean i, I read the, uh the file or whatever i, I did i was there for mm -hmm. the report i mean uh I, I read the report on it um yeah they they gonna yeah, know it's the not like for like yeah, it's not yeah, like they, for they, like they, it, right. it was almost yeah. like for like, but like it was that the operation center kind of again. I ain't trying to it could be other things too. That's what that that's the thing that comes to me. Cause I was like, I was like, yeah, well, you know, real life that would happen with him. Like it's still conspiracies about him, right? Like yeah. he did this and he was over here and he such and such. And like, man. yeah, yeah, he was he was living it up, but it was like, and then some of it makes sense with the kind of infrastructure they had in those certain parts of the country for you know, for his fashion, for his uh faction at that time. But this one, yeah. And, you know, so, but, um, um, so then, so then take me to that second line I got. Again, I brushed off and I had my rationale, but I want to kind of hear your point about it. I didn't take too much from Ahsoka reaching Sabine to the force, mainly because in this very exact show, Jaden allowed, Jason allowed Hare That's to hear true, Ahsoka yeah. um, in the world between true. worlds. But what do you think? And I was like, it would, it, it, because it did look similar to Luke reaching out to Leia in Empire Strikes yeah. Back. Right. So that's yeah. what I took. Cause at first I was like, don't get me wrong. I had to, I stepped back. Don't get me when I, I didn't rationalize that when I saw it. I was like, damn, she, she reached out to her to the force. But I was like, well, I was cool when Jason did it with his mom's, Filoni's um, standard he setting. But that didn't, that didn't look like the same. Because you know Jason kind of put that now so Soka mad stronger, right? And that could have been all Soka dog, right? Soka strong, and she like so man, so strong, you're right. She man. might be able to do that to anybody, right? Soka so strong, man. Yeah, so man. But again, this is. But let me get you. Let me get your rap. Your, your, you know, I ain't trying to put you out there like that. No, no, I would. But I thought about that. Now I seen it. I was like, huh? Yeah. But then I was like, well, it happened. So is that is it life for like or? But because it, it looked different, it looked like I said it looked like Luke reaching out to Leia. <laughs> well, that was always remember, like in the original, in the original, uh, in Empire Strikes Back, that was always that was kind of like the uh, the clue that they got this connection, right? That they mm -hmm. that they was one twins, and that they and that they were bro both force sensitive. That's how I always mm -hmm. looked at it. Is uh, yep, um, man, we never like you're right though. We've seen now because we. Come on, man! It's, it's a long shot. That hair is forced. It's like over force. Like she forces, it, right? Yeah, well, you're too right late for that. <laughs> we saw her son be able to share lightsaber sounds with her, like you know. So, I think that's yeah. That's just another. Again, it's another clue to me that Sabine might not ever really be like strong with the force because it's all. Anytime the force is used, anytime the something happens, it's like there's somebody else doing it for her, right? Or somebody will come out. Somebody else will come in and intervene. Whether it's somebody she fighting, or even anytime she try to use the force, it's, it's from somebody else. So now nah, I just think that's just Ahsoka being strong, man. Now, like again, Ahsoka's very, very strong, man. We see she got all types of powers. You know, she, she can, can hear her memories, out. and she. But but it is it is another cold. <laughs> Ahsoka do got a connection with Sabine, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Cause you go back to the uh, second episode where she wakes, you know, like she basically wakes her being up. She can like hear her thoughts. But again, Ahsoka was like talking to Grogu <laughs> telepathically, nasty, like, man. yeah, like. And now we got to opened up Ahsoka. <laughs> yeah, she opened that exactly. was like a feeling thing she had right there. She's too. super powerful in the force, man. But um, for Ezra though, not to pick up on that was kind of weird to me. But yeah, I, I think you, I think it, I think you, I think I don't think it's like for like. I just think it's uh. They got a connection, mm -hmm. 
And uh, I just think it's, I think it's her power, man. It's just, she, she's strong in the forest. You know what I mean? She's been around for a minute, so she can do that. She can just reach people. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, what'd you think about, about that though? What, like, What'd you think about that scene? Because that's like a trope at this at, at this point, right? Uh, lost in a minefield, or, or uh, whether it's a, a asteroid field, or the whole I'm hide the whole hiding in the asteroid field thing. Like, right? We've seen that a lot, right? Yeah, seen cool. that with yeah. Obi Wan in the prequels. We've seen it in yeah. Return of. Uh, I'm sorry, Empire. Empire Strikes Back. We see it a lot. Man, Amanda even did it right. Where he was hiding on the ice planet, right? I mean, that's kind of like hidden the ice planet. But I felt like he did that. I even think he did that in season three uh, when he was when he's going after those pirates a little bit. I'm trying to I maybe overselling that um, when he did it when he when he was fighting with those pirates, and uh, when he told Grogu never trust a pirate. But I think he was just being more like Batman again. It was more some Batman shit. That wasn't really no. Yeah, well, we see this a lot though. You know. Oh yeah, it's, it's a Star Wars. Yeah, series. yeah. Fil- Filoni was going to do that. Yeah. Right. It was, it was, I mean, we was in the asteroid field, right? It was we an asteroid. Even, I mean, even I mean, though it was a bone. It yeah, was bones. it was an asteroid That's field, right? right? Asteroid field. Yeah, they was doing, they was doing that. Oh, we get, uh, I guess, I guess <coughs> if you, uh, I mean, they did it in the, you're going to rise a Skywalker. They did it in that. <laughs> That's Yeah, but that, what'd you take happened. from it, though? Did you feel like it was a light for light? Did you feel like they had, No, I, I took it, I took it, I just equated, no, at first. I was like, but you you make total sense. Even my rationale about the the, the Jason is not really relevant to what they were. That was all Ahsoka. That was all Ahsoka. Like a sweater, yeah. you know, with Ahsoka. Um, I think we're getting to the point, and you know, and we're gonna get into our prediction. Like, you know, I, I texted you one recently, right? Like what I think. Like like ah- Ahsoka different. Mm-hmm. Ahsoka different. Like I, she just ain't. She just again being in that lineage that she from, right? With with. Coming from Qui Gon to uh, from Dooku to Qui Gon to, to uh, I guess it starts with Yoda, right? Yoda, Dooku, Qui Gon, Obi, Anakin, her. Like that's a, that's already a lineage, right? Hell of a and lineage. then now you add the things that had happened to her to almost to the point where she can't die, right? To these things that have happened to her, Ahsoka, Ahsoka on a different kind of. She owned what I predicted Ezra was gonna be <laughs> when we was Man. when we was getting when we That's was talking exactly. about in the season. Three. No, we was right. We just had the wrong. We had the wrong person. Like where the wrong is she person. at with this? So yeah, no, nah, that makes sense. I had it as uh, it looked like Leia and Luke, but my rationale for accepting it was what happened with Jason. But I think both of them was just really all what Ahsoka did. And that's actually more believable at this point. Again, what that's what they're showing us, like it or not. I don't even need to say that really. Because she but, knew exactly where they were at. You know, I she knew she like it was GPS. Yeah. It was like a satellite. Yeah. It was like drop your, you know, drop your little drop a dot, you know, a pen or whatever. You know, it was also location. nasty. It was also nasty how quick the witch found it too, though. <laughs> that was actually yeah. the nastier part when when what what she did. Like as yeah. soon as it happened, there. black eyes open, like <laughs> Yeah. I see where you I see what you're doing, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, yeah, man. I, I, you no, know that makes sense. Yeah, that's a Soka reaching out. Like that, that was a, that's a display of power that was so you know uh, so so audacious by her that the witch noticed that shit. Like oh, okay, no, that's she right. She's there she for her to extend shit. her powers like that. You know what I mean? That must have really like ooh, yeah, yeah, she had, yeah. She like, lost. Damn. it. She blew a cover on that one. She told Hu Yang yeah. what she's about to do. Like Hu Yang looked at her like, for real, you about to do that? <laughs> I don't know how about that. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I noticed that. Like, that's what should have been like. (laughs) And we don't know. Like, now, now, now we're getting into the nitty gritty of it. Like, with with the Ezra situation, what, what, there's something in this planet where he's probably having to like navigate through the force through a certain way where he might not be like just overtly tapped in where he like got the. He got the total. You know what I'm saying? To to protect himself. Yeah, more than likely. Yeah, like because you've seen what. Well, she did because Ahsoka knew to the planet. So when she used her powers, boom, they caught her right away. Yeah, he might have been going through years of like, oh, I can't really. They got yeah, you probably figure that out so quick. I can't really. Uh, Look yeah, at what it's doing to Balin. We got to get to that. Look at what it's kind of mm-hmm. doing to Balin, right? Like it's got a different kind of pull on him. We don't. I'm just throwing it out there. That's probably way too extra. Really, probably just <laughs> really down. That is like because I I thought like damn, that's what I didn't say because I did say that to myself too. Like. Ezra didn't like he didn't notice like hey you know hey you know Soka trying to call you right <laughs> yeah. Soka trying to call you <laughs> yeah he's calling been, you he well, her connection was probably looking for looking for yeah that, she got right? some type of connection man with uh with Sabine you know she she they, they shown that since the beginning so yeah. yeah 
So let's um, uh, we got next. Um, let's look at move. We'll go to the next. We got, we got um, we got Shin. We got we got Balin and Shin finds Ezra's group. Yeah. However, uh, Balin and I'm gonna call it an an, an unsithy kind of move. Basically, tells Shin. <laughs> yeah. Um, he basically tells Shin that this is yeah. where they part. Yep. But you go ahead and handle that. Yeah. Uh, he knows their goals are different now. Yep. And he tells her, impatient for victory will guarantee defeat. So now we get back there. Let me ask you. But she look at it and she like, well, you not coming? Like, nah. Like it's time for you. It's time for you to go make your moves. Like you got yep. you got different ambitions than what I got. This is where we part. But I'm gonna give you this last jewel. Now mm-hmm. I gotta ask you. Recalling, matter of fact, I keep asking you questions. You probably about to make a point before. I was going to ask you my question. Nah, go ahead. Uh, what do you think is going on with Balin at this point? Like, you got any more intel about where he at? Like, is he making decisions? So let me ask you the second part, part two. Is he making his decisions or is his decisions being influenced by something? That's way I, you know the way I question. ask that. I'm heavy handed telling you yeah. how I feel. <laughs> yeah. That's a good. Nah, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, and he just gave up his apprentice. Like, like you like that. And, and like and was like super honest with her, like, yeah, I know what you want to do. I mean, basically kind of sunned her on her yeah. way out, right? Like, <laughs> I mean, you're ambitious. Basically, like telling her, like, your ambition is small. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm I'm I, I'm on the greater good. I already know I'm not even gonna give you a chance. I already know you're not gonna be able to follow, yeah. right? <laughs> so I can't bring you with me because you not because you can't come with me, it's you're not gonna come with me because you wanna be a part of this new empire. That's what you see. Basically, you a mercenary. Yeah. Go yeah, get paid. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm on the bigger and better. You know what I mean? I'm I got a higher purpose here. Yeah. Um, I think it's definitely a possibility he can be, be he can be he's being influenced. But I think it's really just Bailey got like this uh he got like this vision, man. Like he can see like into the you know into the future. So I think he like he very like the foresight, right? Where he he's always like looking into the future and like you know, so I, and, and and he's definitely a mind reader too. And I think he just read Shin's mind, and he can see the future. And he's just like, "Yeah, hey, go ahead, man. I know what you really want. You, I know what you want this whole time. Just go ahead and go get that. You really do want that. Yeah, that's what you really want. So yeah, it's just him cutting to the chase, man, and, and being very uh, honest and, and clear about everything, man. It's like a jet. It's, it's a Jedi thing, man, that he did. So yeah, I. He, but he could, I mean, he is being influenced in, in the sense of his perp, whatever his purpose is, whatever his, his true goal is, is like, is guiding his decision. So I, I think that in that way, he is being influenced. Going back to something you said, you know, I, I never brought this up, but I, I when you say the mind reader, there's a part of me, and I meant, to, I meant to say this, like maybe like the next episode after it happened, that when he, when he, when he ran up on Ahsoka, when he ran up on Ahsoka and he started talking about Anakin, it's part of me that really believes he got that information right there. Mm-hmm. That, that he didn't have that information in his pocket. He didn't know Anakin. Yeah. He got that from Ahsoka. Because as strong as Ahsoka about. was, but Ahsoka yeah. wasn't on point right there. Like we can we can look back now and know how conflict we can see the difference and then what, what's going to happen later on in this episode and how she approached that situation and how she approached Balin in episode four, right? Where she was emo- like you say, emotional, conflicted. She had a lot going on. She was guarded. She was jaded. But all that was doing is probably making her more easier to read. And he touched all those points that was going to make her really, like, unstable. One saber alo- Ahsoka, right? <laughs> she wasn't prepared yeah. for the situation. And it's part of me to believe, like, he read her right there to break her. He didn't. I, I don't believe. I don't. I, I'm sitting here now not believing that he knew where Anakin was. He just knew in her mind. Like, he again, because it kind of boils like we, we just talked about it earlier. Right. Like uh, um, we just talked about it earlier. Like, well, I guess that body wouldn't make too much sense because he would have been in the order. I'm about to say that. How did how did Thrawn not know that was his apprentice? And, you know, he kind of but, you know, he could have known that if he was really in the order like that. But it's like I say, it's part of me to know that thought that he got that information right there. He got it right there. And then that's how strong he was. Right. Like in that. Well, I think he is now right now. So I, I, I said it. I probably said it about influence. Like there's a lure. But the one thing that was happening, like he's probably more lured right now, but and it's probably a confirmation bias, right? Meaning it sounds like he knew of stories about Peridia before they went there. Like that's what intrigued yeah. him to go do the thing in the first right. place. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah, he was a mercenary, but he really took this job for what Morgan was saying that they can go do. Oh, yo, y'all could, like this is all coming together. I heard of Peridia, 
and there's stories behind there that we ain't heard yet. I don't know if Filoni's saving that or we not going to get it. But he said it was like children's stories, right? And it's like, and we get there, and there's probably that energy that's lowering, like, oh, no, or or the confirmation bias, like, all that's been right up, has been real up to this point, that I'm that I'm comfortable with following it now. Like, everything has that, been everything has been what it's said to be in the stories. That makes so sense. I got to see this through. So it's probably not an energy, but more, if that makes sense, it's more him, he already convinced. No, it makes sense. see it through. It, it would make sense, right? Because... A Jedi couldn't couldn't just move without any purpose, right? Like a Jedi mm-hmm. couldn't, but you, you can't. Damn, that's a great line. Yeah, like a Jedi, a Jedi can't Damn. both believe in the Force and move without purpose. It wouldn't, yeah. it, it wouldn't make sense. So a Jedi is never gonna just be a full mercenary. A mercenary, Din Djarin, until he found Grogu, would have been a, mer- a mercenary slash bounty hunter for the rest of his life until yeah. the end of his days. He found yeah. purpose. He found Grogu. He found the purpose. Okay. But a Jedi moves by the force. You use the force and, and, and the force guides you. You can't just, you can't use the force in that way and then be like, oh, yeah, I'm just going, but I'm going I'm to ignore whatever opportunities or, or uh, whatever the force brings me or shows me. I'm just going to ignore it because I'm a mercenary. A Jedi can never do that, right? So you're right. Him connecting the dots and, and knowing about Peridia from the children's stories, he was like, the force brought me here, and he's still using the force, man. Yeah, he's st- he's still even like he he's like, Jedi. He, like he using the force. He's still using the like force. A, like a like a Jedi. I mean, I know Sip, but like like a like a Jedi would like meaning like he got that like yeah. his, his his apprentice isn't. She just using the force to fight. She ain't like you don't seem like she's touching touch with it. Whereas like I'm obviously Baylor in order, but like he looked like he's still like the force is guiding him. Yeah, Shin Not understands a higher purpose. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Balin yeah. understands a higher purpose, so. He can, he can, um, Shin being young, he like, oh, go ahead. I already saw what you, you know, I saw what you into, you know, I, I know what you're about. So, <laughs> yeah. but again, I think it, it goes back to what we talked about a few weeks ago is the future is unclear, right? Like you see visions, but you really don't understand. I still think that's what's happening with Balin. It's like, he's seeing things like even when he fights, I, I want to jump ahead, but even when he, next. yeah, even no, when we, he, we'll um, talk about it. Yeah. When he encounters, uh, Soka. Yeah. He basically tell her like, I know the outcome of this fight. You can't yeah. beat me in a one on one one on one battle. I'm always gonna win. Like, but what he don't see is that she wasn't trying to win the. She wasn't trying to yeah. win that way. Yeah. So I, I still think it's like he's seeing things, but he don't really understand. Like, it's there's different there's variables here still that he, he's not seeing. So we'll see. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, I but yeah, I just don't think that. Um, he was he 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 really wasn't a mercenary. He was just kind of like, yeah, I'm a mercenary, but I'm a mercenary until the until the force takes me where I need to be. Yeah, it's part and, of the uh, journey. Even though Shin is not a Sith, she gonna just you know she is she basically like a a, a new. <laughs> it did make me. It did. My bad. I'm jumping all over the place. But going back to what you said, well, I think you made a, a great point about his 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 is something influencing him is because. You just told her in the in the, in the episode two weeks ago you 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 want her to be something greater. Yeah. Now you're telling me that oh no you're good you're free. <laughs> yeah yeah. What happened to that? So it's like hold on. <clears throat> it's like what happened to that? Yeah, he changed that quick, right? That was yeah, last so, week, wasn't it? That was last week. Was, my bad. Yeah. Was, was, Ezra, was Ezra the first time? That's when they first got to the planet, right? Yeah, yeah. That was last week. Yeah, they just got to the planet right. last week. So. On, he's a bulking Johnny. He was training the wild, just like me. He's yeah, like, nah, so I trained you to be something better. I it's either, it's either, it's either two, two or three things here. Either that's this is a test for her to see if she'll come back. You know how they say, if you love something, let it go. <laughs> let it go. What was that the Max line? With you? If you love <laughs> something, let it go. <laughs> come back. You know, whatever. But like, Either this is a test for her, or he not in control anymore, and he don't remember what he said last week. But he just told her last week, oh, "No, no, not you. Is that what I am? No, there's something greater. What happened to that? Like maybe so, where he's going, the pull is getting stronger. Yeah, that to the point where he's like, he again. I said, it's either two or three things. Either this is a test. He's trying to protect her, or he really like, nah, you, you know, I read your mind." You're not you're not down for the call, so I gotta let you go. Could be trying to protect her though, but he don't want her there for some reason. Hey man, you ever said something to somebody and you can see instantly that it, like y'all y'all cool? You might even you might got a little you might got a paddle yep. on at work or something. Yep. You trying to tell them something? You just really like beyond just saying game. It's like you trying to like give them some some a jewel, some some knowledge or whatever. 
and you can see it go way over their head, and you'd be like, hey, man, you know what, man? Hey, you know, <laughs> that's you know, exactly instantly, what that, yo. He probably said that when he said, because when he said that line, she was like, oh, I see bandits. Like, it's something here. Don't you see it? She was like, I see bandits. He was like, okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. All right. Cause that happens. When you try to, you're right. You're trying to, you're trying to like school somebody. Yeah. Now you're looking at this paperwork like, you see what I see? <laughs> man, I see you. I see you. <laughs> I just see ink on the paper, like okay, yeah, you know what? Hey, yeah, go ahead and uh, hey man, go ahead and clock out, man. You good? Man. You good? Yeah, you good? Don't worry about it. You good, man? Gotta stay. Yeah, I'll take care. I'll take care of it, bro. Go ahead, and get out of here. Yeah. You might. Like, I might have been because that might have been their first. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm being silly, but like you're right, like because that is a that was a quick turn from what he said. He literally just said that last week. I trained you to be something more. Yeah, like what happened to that? Really? Yo, it's here. Yeah, I hope it ain't a felony moment, dog. <laughs> Either that's bad writing or not. It's, but it better be a reason for that because that's a quick turnaround. Like otherwise, that line means nothing. I raised you to be something greater. Or I want you to be something greater. It's like okay, but you you cutting her loose now, saying that she she ambitious, you know, and she leaves, you know. So yeah, yeah. So we go that yeah. like Shin. We got next. right after that. Right after that, Shin calls for some reinforcements, and they run up on uh Ezra Bean. <laughs> They run up, I'm calling him Ezra Bean from going on right here. Yeah. Uh, she, she feeling probably, good, man. She's yeah. feeling good. <laughs> Bro, she, again, you said it last week. First time we've seen her happy. Yeah, yeah, she happy, man. Like, she that ain't, that ain't seeing, that ain't, that ain't running up on your brother or your cousin, man. That's nah, not, like, get that brother shit, brother, sister yeah, shit out of here. Over, it's over. That's over. Bro. Uh, you so ain't, I, you ain't uh, fooling me. Uh, uh, they run up on the reinforcements that they run up on Ezra Bean. And I had this moment where I see one of the uh one of the turtles pulled out the uh pulled out the slingshot. Slingshot, yeah. And it reminded me of when Ezra yep. pulled yep. out that joint and uh <laughs> it wasn't as dope though. Like it wasn't yeah. it, it wasn't I that. Mad it it was, I got mad it didn't light up. Yeah, he, he couldn't build another one. He couldn't get no tech to build another one at all. He, he gave him a real slingshot. Like, bro, we downgraded, bro. Hey, we you want to talk about a Filoni moment? Hey, Filoni, why didn't this joint light up? Because that's when we first meet them, he had these. He had this work. Come on, B. Yeah. Um, but then right after this, um, uh, right after this, we see Ahsoka jump out of her ship only to have Balin waiting on her. Right. And we kind of kind of spoke to this a little bit while ago. Um, uh, Ahsoka is calm, uh, lets him know she doesn't have time for this. Uh, Pancho work, you know. Yeah, yeah, she was ready. So we get, well, I think we get, yeah, they ain't got time for this. We get back to, uh, then they, they about to, you know, they about to get started. <clears throat> um, we yeah. get back to the, we get back to Ezra Bean, and then the battle about to start. Um, Sabine tries to hand Ezra his lightsaber, and he, he refuses it. <laughs> <Here we go>. <laughs> <laughs> Funny as hell, man. Because I had, hold on, I gotta look this. I gotta now. I gotta put some. I should have had this ready. Because I, man, because I, what I wanted to do. You know, you ever seen the Planet of the Apes uh meme where it's like he'd be like, "Damn it, they did it." Where uh he'd be on the beach oh, and he like, never seen they, that one. <laughs> "Oh man, I don't see the one with." Oh this, man, when I saw that, I was like, <laughs> "I was like, man, he better take that lifesaver." Yeah, um, this, man. But yeah, yeah go he did. He didn't take it. He said the force is his ally. And I got to admit, I said, don't ask me why I like when he said that, even though I know that's right. the Yoda line. Right. But I did I, I did consider it's not what I wanted to see. I didn't want to see that. I did a, I did a 180, 360 on this, man. So. Yeah, I didn't want to see I think that. I did a 360 on this, really. Um, <laughs> Ezra, yeah, 100. Because I was <laughs> heated at first. Yeah, I was heated. At, like, man, you get this. Shit out of here, I was man. high, man. Like, because oh, that was the moment I wanted. <laughs> yeah, B, I that, heard, man. man. I was... and she tried to do it because she clearly got the guns. Like, she clearly yeah, she got more went. weapons she... than she need, right? Yeah, like, she yeah, has yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. She got her two blasters. It ain't like her, you know. Ain't like the blasters got like she lost them somewhere. She clearly yeah. got her two blasters, mm -hmm. and she do everything in her power to get his man his lightsaber back. He's like, nope, oh, yeah, no, it's yours now. I gave it to you. Yeah. Which, which, which. I still don't understand, by the way. I don't know what I missed. Yeah, but I don't, right. I don't remember no scene where he officially gave her the lightsabers. I think he just left the lightsaber behind. I might be missing something, though. 
Yeah, I gotta look. I felt like I remember that he gave it to her, but I don't remember it being like a ceremonious thing for her to like, like just hold it or something. I gotta pause on holding it. I gotta watch the last episode again. Um, yeah. uh, like I said, Ezra, um, Ezra began to put in some karate. He had some karate force work, right? He had a nice little dope scene where she came at him with the. Let's talk Eddie. about this for a minute, cause, cause, cause. All right, it's two ways. I, I went. It's two, cause I had to go. I had to rewatch it, right? Cause, mm-hmm. at first, cause I, man, I turned the episode off. I'm heated. Like, <laughs> I already got it drawn up in the notes. Like I'm about to, I'm about to be the one that go off. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm heated. I'm like this is some bullshit. But then I went back and looked, and I, I had to realize <laughs> face value. This motherfucker fighting without a lightsaber. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, you know, it's one thing to, to to fight people who don't have lightsabers without a lightsaber and just throw people around, non-force mm-hmm. users. It's another to, and I ain't saying Shen is like the greatest or the most dangerous we've ever seen, but she clearly playing, you know, like she, she you know what I mean? She clearly going for the kill, man. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, like she, she ain't just, she ain't toying with, with Ezra here. She trying to kill Ezra. So, and he did something basically that Ahsoka does later, which is, and we've seen Ahsoka do in the past. It's like, you ain't even worth me like pulling out my lightsaber. <laughs> like, you ain't on my level to the point where I like, I don't really need a lightsaber. Damn, you stole my line about what she did to Shin. <laughs> she son. Because that's what she son. Shin. She son Shin, boy. Like, you ain't even on my level, uh, young girl. Like, you ain't even going to ignite one of my lightsabers. I got two. <laughs> this is, but I can help you. You will have died <laughs> Alka Seltzer. That's how she that's how she played her. <laughs> that's how she played her, man. It was a great line. You can just move to that, like uh, oh man. He was yeah, yeah he was at- he was doing all that without it, but then yeah. Ahsoka, um, like I say, Ahsoka out maneuvers bailing. Oh, I, oh wait a minute, hold on. My bad. Go ahead, go ahead. I got something no, go ahead. to do. All right. Yeah, she she outmaneuvered yeah. Balin in terms of like like you, you said earlier, she she really wasn't there to fight because your boy um uh Yang shows up. Um I don't know why didn't right there? Uh he, he blasted, you know, he's shooting at him. So was able to uh, take off with his uh with the with the with the bat dog. And then she shows up in this scene, but Balin just kind of walks off, right? He's on whatever mission he on, right? He just kind of walks off, or that's what I'm led to believe. Oh, uh, I'm leaning more towards that he being influenced, man. You you don't yeah. sold me on that. Oh uh, once um uh once around a young um young Ezra has some rebel level antics, you know how he get he get all silly and stuff, and he like you can go ahead and uh I think I, I don't know if I got that over here. He was talking about y'all can go and arrest me or whatever. But then at the end, Soka Soak Dog shows man, up and basically sunshine. So so let me ask you a question. You know, we had that, so let me let me just get to the question part and then and I'm only gonna I don't really like a question, so I sound like you already got a comment. What sticks out to you, Pauls, in this entire sequence, right? Because there's a lot to break down in this action. Well, I'm going to tell you one of the things that stuck out to me immediately. Pause. <sighs> no matter how you dress them up, whether you paint their armor all black, <clears throat> you throw in some, some red straps, <laughs> same stormtroopers, my, my guy. The same uh, stormtroopers, right? Hey, man, they ain't enchanted, are they? <laughs> <laughs> Don't matter. Like, what was the point? Hey, man. They the same stormtroopers from Empire Strikes Back, B. Yeah. From 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 the same ones that Luke was shooting all crazy in, in, in the New Hope. <laughs> ben! <laughs> oh, no. 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 <laughs> Man, you can call them yeah. Death Troopers, Dark Troopers, Night Troopers, Night Troopers, Zombie Trooper. <laughs> Starship troopers, whatever, man. Yeah. They the same got they the same damn stormtroopers, man. Good acts. These stormtroopers immediately they ain't do nothing. <laughs> they they ain't show us nothing different. They just man, they just was there to be. They was fodder, man. They, okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> same damn stormtroopers, and we ain't get nothing out of them, man. It don't matter what you call them, oh. no matter how you dress them up. Hey man, it's the same stormtroopers. We bro. spent time talking about them too, didn't we? Hey man, yeah. They, hey, we hey, had man, all these theories. Get the dark system magic, man. No, no. Dude. <laughs> same ones who was taking, was just running in front of uh, 
blaster bolts. Just <laughs> can't shoot worth a lick. You smack them in that helmet and they go down. Shit like that. These are the same ones, bro. <laughs> and it's the same voice, too. Right. Oh, when they God. like under the hood, it's like the, I don't know who hey. the stormtrooper voice. But it's that <laughs> one person. Yeah, I always thought that was like that's yeah. how they it come through on the on the, the com or whatever. But yeah, yeah. I wonder if it's uh, like an inside you know, Lucas film. <laughs> yeah. George Lucas like it's, it's this dude named Larry. He famous for doing stormtrooper voices. Come on, yeah, get Larry back. Come on, Larry. <laughs> you know they were signing the contract. He was like, you got to put that in the contract, Larry. Got to. Larry got to stick around and do the voice. That's why it's, it's four billion, George. I know, but Larry, you know, Larry got to do the voice. Larry has to yeah, voice man, because they ain't had they didn't have nothing. They had nothing, man. They didn't have nothing. Um, man, but but nah. Uh, other than that, bro, uh, what stuck out to me is just again, I, my first watch, I was heated, man, because as he get like pushed into the smushed yeah, into yeah, the yeah, uh, she did catch him. And I'm like, well, goddamn. First of all, he didn't take his, he didn't, you know, he never takes the lightsaber. Sabine go through the two blasters, then she pull out the lightsaber. And, but again, on my rewatch, I just noticed that, like, man, he kind of like saves her. Like, he kind of like protected her. Oh, when, you know? when he pulled her, yeah, yeah, he pulled her out of the way immediately. Like, damn, like, Sabine taking some licks, man. Uh, <laughs> every fight, man, she to, take to licks. not wear the helmet. Yeah, and she got to yeah. get a helmet back because she, she get, get the helmet man. way too much. You know, what I was about to say too. That's good that this show. Go ahead, my bad. I ain't mean to you like you about to say something. Now nah, I was gonna say, damn, dude, we ain't bringing her or not. We got to get this helmet. It got to be in that yeah. ship. I hope it is. Yeah. But go ahead. And no, she gotta, but one thing is show. It do show that when she when she when she pulled a saber out against somebody without the force, you could tell she trained. Mm. But none of that shit matter when you're going to get somebody with the force. <laughs> There's a delineation. Yes. Only General Grievous can get that shit off when he got like four arms, and then and then and then Obi went on here and clapped him. He, oh, come on, man, that's not here. Yeah, he was like, I know he hit him with the blaster at the end, but he really couldn't see Kenobi. Cutting like, like each arm off, like, 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 yeah. <laughs> he hit him with that shit. Like, <laughs> come on, man. he hit him with that. Like, but I, I, take take a Grievous out of it. It's a delineation, right? From because because Shin be mopping her every time. Like she come, she keep trying. And Slim saying flipping up. be looking at her too, like, you gotta cut this shit out. And that's all you the difference. <laughs> Slow ass moves. <laughs> you have no power. You don't have any power. You, you, like, you stop. stop it. Stop. And then it show you the difference that when Ahsoka showed up with none of that shit. Yeah, that's why I had to look at Ezra. Like, Ezra didn't have nothing. It was like, <laughs> like yeah. just, just the force, just. Moving out of the way, you know, it's like you know, you know the part, you know the part about that that, that when he didn't do it, and then we had to say one side because I was I was I'm like, man, I and I, I looked at it because I wanted that so much. We talked about that yeah. so much. Like she gonna hand it to him, and then everything gonna go right in the place it's supposed to be, right? And it's looked like she trying to do that, right? But nobody else wants to let her do that, right? But it, it go back to Filoni, right? My bad, not the country. Not good. I just just it go back because. I mean, Falone, he he wants you to know that because he tell who Yang says it in like episode two where he like, nope, you made modifications to the lightsaber. It's your lightsaber now. Like he wanted, like Falone, he want us to he putting out a sign like it's her lightsaber. So technically, going into this episode, we already knew that it was her lightsaber. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. So you know what it wanted to make me think. Like, oh, oh, I hope Young Easy go back to that one joint he had. <laughs> I hope we go back to the OG joint. I hope he built it, man. Nah, I was he thinking that, too. <laughs> the, and you know, the, yeah, yeah. You know, Balin walking around with the Kyber on his belt. You know, it was part of me that had a theory that somehow that was going to play a part in my being my man getting his saber. But I hope he come back with the, with the, with the, with the but one. He ain't, they ain't going to do that. But I think it's right. that training wall, though, right? I think that's how he, that's how he's gonna get a, a lightsaber. My bad, I didn't mean to cut you. But the, the, the what? The what? No, her. Uh, remember you, her her closet, her training closet with all her. Oh. I think he gonna she gonna be like, yeah, that's right. He gonna be it's like, and we finally gonna see this dude with a lightsaber. Hopefully, is Kyber in there? Um, don't she got some training sabers in there? Did you get a screenshot of that? I should have got, got a screenshot. screenshot. I meant to get out. Did I get a screenshot of that? Cause it's hell. That's the like one. That's the one. Like at I least didn't... three or four lightsabers. I don't think I gotta. <clears throat> I mean, it's open right there, but like, okay, so we can see it, right? So if you look on the right side of it, so obviously we see mask, but like, see those not my four. right, but her right, right? Her. Uh, I'm sorry, her her left, right? 
Oh, okay. I see them things. See the map. And I think those are four. I see. Them. Oh no. Well, yeah, least, them things. Them things. You know. Them things. One, de- one detail I always look for. It's a good one. Cause one thing. Cause uh, I remember I used to always have the books that uh like the you know they break down like all the props and everything, right? And one thing about training sabers. They look, they they look, they look the same, right? Because uh, technically, but you can use them, right? Like you can, that can be your lifesaver. Because because technically, Darth uh, Darth Maul, the double bladed, his original double bladed saber was a training saber. Oh, okay. Or they use double bladed sabers in training. It looked like she got one of those in there, man. Like it, it looked like she got some old school training saber. I think Ezzy gonna get one of those. Go get bestowed. I mean, how dope would it be in this beginning of the episode? We got some. He gets. Some, they, they training in there for the fight, but it's yeah. like as he is now it's as he and he ain't touched a saber in a minute. And it's as he and uh Ahsoka putting in work. It's a little, 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 it's a little something for us, man. That'd be pretty dope. Um, speaking of um, speaking of as he, um, no oh, man, I know it's coming. Speaking of as he, no, 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 that's coming. You know what's coming. Yeah, you, know, boss, you know what's coming. I ain't asking that yet. <laughs> yeah, that's right. the last thing because only got yeah. we only got one little part and then that's it. Um, what do you think about the actor playing as he and, and uh, playing Ezra and how he's actually playing the role? Because I, I for, uh, so I'll say this: what I'll, I'll I ask you the question. Let me ask you the answer first. My bad. Not nah, uh, so far. I think he's doing a great job, man. I think yeah, he like he like he like what I've imagined. Like especially yeah. like you see him in this one. Like yeah, he was Ezra, like an older Ezra. When he's yeah, like I said, the second on my rewatch before I when I turned down the fumes or whatever <laughs> over my. Him getting what I thought initially was him getting mopped. Yeah. Uh, when I went back and watched it, I'm like, oh, that was all as him I standing there with his I, hands. I like got, I thought he got mopped at first when he got flipped. Right. When he got what? When he got when he got mushed. When he got mushed. Yeah, I was, I was pissed, mushy, man. She called she like, called him though. Man. She, yeah, she called him slipping. You know what I mean? She called him slipping. You know, that can she happen. Called him man. Slipping. Yeah, she called him slipping. It ain't gonna happen to a soaker, but it can happen, right? So, yeah. but it's like, <clears throat> nah, when he was doing that, when he was yeah, the force of my ally, and he was he was kind of like standing there waiting for the battle. And when he was when he kept getting up and telling them to go back inside, telling the um, you know, the damn, they, got, they got a name, man. The naughty got when he was telling the yeah. naughty, when he was telling the, the naughty people, like, hey, nah, yeah. go, go back inside. Like, I got this. Yeah, that was Ezra. That was that was I felt like he was he was Ezra. So uh, I think this dude did his homework, you know. Yeah. I think he did his homework, man. I think he actually went back and watched Rebels and got a uh, feel for the character, man, and where the character yeah, would did, be at this point. Then he got he got the ads a little goofy. Yeah. And this to it and this one that was like, oh yeah, that's that's him. Like, that's him. Like all you gotta do is give him the little give him a little um situation. But let's finish this out in terms of like going over the plot points. Um I don't even know if I got any things for this. Like, oh yeah, I just got this last little one. So we get back to Thrawn. Uh, to me, this again is some Star Wars Rebels era kind of stuff where we, where every time it seemed like the Rebels had won, Thrawn gained something in defeat, right? And something for the bigger picture. This time, what he gained was time. This time, what he gained was time. Also, to point out, it does seem like it does seem like Morgan questions most of his moves, right? Like, and I, I point out because it takes me back to something you said earlier. I point out, like, I know Thrawn doesn't mind questions if it's an opportunity for him to teach his crew. Facts. Right, you know, they always ask him a questions like, "Hey, Leon, you know, you I listen to these books, you always question, but he don't he don't mind taking the time to explain something to him." But to me, this just seems a little bit different, right? Seems a little bit different to me. Uh, we're not used to it, man. Yeah, we're not used to him getting questioned like by yeah. his subordinates. Uh, you know, I do got one more picture, but I don't think I, I must not have put it in there, so I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna uh, put it, I ain't gonna do a hunt for. It. But um, in the end. We get, like I say, and, and then again, so I say that, and then, and then we get Ahsoka having a reunion with Ezra. She's smiling, laughing. Man, I thought that yeah. was the superior reunion, in my opinion. Like, to, it was, to, wasn't it? It was just yeah, a better reunion, man. It was kind of like what we missed last week. Um, mm-hmm. I thought it was the better of the two. Yeah, and then I, I ended off with saying, and here we go again with Ezra saying, I think I might be going home after all. Like, don't do this to me. Yeah, yeah. He just, that, that, that was like the, that, that was the real one, right? I, you yeah. come to the point like we said last week, and much as as great as last week's episode was, like in terms of like being there, it was an episode that like was an independent episode, and I think we made right. the point like you can actually go. You probably can go. We we surmised and predicted <clears throat> that you probably can go from when Ahsoka um, the end of what was that episode five, and you probably can run run into this episode. Right, 
It's good. Probably can go from episode five and go an episode, and it really kind of seemed like that, right? You can go from episode five to episode seven because uh, this was the reunion right here, right? This was yeah. the reunion. The, them talking and stuff that happened because we only saw Ezra for a minute at the end, right? So them talking to Ezra like they just again not taking a, nothing away from last episode. I, I, I loved it. It was my favorite, but in terms of the story, yeah, right. It's one or the other. You got to pick one in terms of like what one kind of really mattered more. And I think this would matter. And, and the things that happened, which is kind of glorified more in this episode. Um, so um, I only got like really one more question. And then, you know, we can kind of do what we want to do after that. Um, but uh, you got anything, you know, to point out? Because uh, now we you know we going into the we going into the eighth. One. Like this the eighth episode is the season finale. And also. Yeah. Um, um, but. I guess let me ask this real quick. As we got to the end episode, and that's how it ended, they all rolled off and everything. They didn't roll off. They were sitting there, and, and, and Hu Yang brought the ship. But Brian almost done as well, too. So now we in this race. Do you think everyone gets off the planet tomorrow or next Tuesday? And if not, who's your main contenders to stay? Man, oh, that's a good question. Um, Thrawn making it off the planet. Thrawn about to get to work. Um, <clears throat> these new, iPhone, these new uh, iOS notification sounds, bro, they need to get somewhere. I need my OG notification. Yeah. Notes. Go ahead. Right. Uh, so I can ignore them. Shout out to, yeah, I, I was 17, man. Um, yeah. yeah. Man, I, I think, I don't think Azzy going on. <laughs> I think Azzy's my number At one. All? Man, At all? Man, at all? He going to make some sacrifice or something, man. <sighs> man, Filoni putting it out there way too much. Because he keeps saying it. Like, he making it a point, like, that... <sighs> Yeah, it don't mean again death, death, him dying and him not going home are two different things. Yeah, <clears throat> but it's just it's weird to me that the more and more I start to see his connection, like his his the way he is with the naughty, the more I start thinking. But here's my I got a twist though coming. Not really a twist, but I got I got a I'm making a point. The more and more I see him with the naughty, <clears throat> the more I'm thinking like he's not gonna leave him. Uh, his connection with these people, I mean, it's ten years. He ten yeah. years. That's a lot to be like. One year is different. It's like okay, but ten years. See what happened when that when one of them kind of like was down and they all surrounded. Yeah, him. he literally shut. He, yeah, he like circle up. You know, yeah. he stopped everything just to save one. So knowing how he is, I think he's gonna make a grand gesture, and it's gonna be I'm staying with I'm staying with these people. With that said, not only do I got him staying on the planet, I got Sabine staying with. Him. I got Sabine and Ezra staying. And I got Ahsoka going back and going out the, you know, going out the throne with a possibility that Ezra and Sabine can raise some type of army or something or, or find a way with the Pergil maybe to one day come back and help in the fight later on down the road. But I this season ends, I think, with Ahsoka being the only one going back. So don't see Sabine, Jedi or not. Um, and maybe Ezra trains her, maybe. I don't, but I just don't see Sabine coming this far, the connection that she clearly got with Ezra, the chemistry that they clearly got, turning around and going back with Ahsoka. <clears throat> yeah, there's nothing really in the galaxy left for her. It's not like her family is there anymore. She she clearly don't want to be a part of the Mandalorians and what they got going on, you know. So, yeah, I think we end this season. Top two candidates, Ezra and Sabine, I got them staying. I got Ahsoka and Thrawn going back to the regular galaxy. To the, to the original galaxy. That's, that's, that's I don't what know what my prediction was, but you can sold me. <laughs> I don't know what I had, <laughs> but I'm sold. I don't even want to like... <clears throat> that's exactly what's happening. That's exactly yeah. what's happening. Um, yeah, you done sold me. I don't even... Cause whatever it is, we, we wasn't getting a conclusion. Like So whatever, nah. like, you know, like you're going to these... What I don't think I don't think Filoni and them gonna do for this is try to rat. There's no this is purposely what it is, right? There's no end of the season, 18 fights, meaning like all these little things. We got to go take out Balin. We got to go find out which like we gotta have all these things happen, right? Yeah. That's clearly then, a two-parter, two seasons. And then we looking part. at the we looking at a twin son, right? Like, you know, like something, something like that, and, and that's what happened. Nah, this is specifically the for it to, it to lead into something, right? Like whether they announce the second season, which I, I think they, I think it has to be. But ultimately, because we, you know, whatever happens, whatever I had, that's what's happening. I don't even want to go nowhere else with it because that sound like she's not leaving Ezra. Yeah, right? I think so. Yeah. She so home. like, 
she not leaving now. And she getting close to the pe- the, the Lenati people too. So oh, she good. Man, yeah. she, she, we, we made so much about Ahsoka looking the way, like, oh yeah, she no Sabine, she just smiling and everything. She in right? splendor, all her splendor right now. Yeah, she not going. They look, she not going nowhere, right? Um, so it's either the two, like if only other option is if Ahsoka don't make it, but them two go. You know what I'm saying? But they, but they a pair, right? Whatever's mm-hmm. happening is they a pair. Um, oh. You know what I'm saying? What I, had, I, that'd be what, I had, what I had, what I had it was all three of them weren't gonna make it. Thrawn was gonna get out, yeah, right. Like, um, <laughs> but them three wasn't gonna make it, and then we lean into the part where they gonna, uh, they find a way, right? So like, say, Pergil, whatever the situation uh-huh. is, or whatever this guiding light force is here that they may actually connect to, right? Like, because it may be some kind of light. Right, there may be light that's that's here as opposed to that's going against the dark that's the, the night with the night sisters, the mothers, right? Like it may be the, the counter to them. They scared because of it's you know, but or it could be super evil, right? But at the end of the day, that's how I had it. But then you throw in the naughty Illuminati that's there, right? Yeah, yeah you sold me. I think that's exactly Illuminati. what's gonna happen. Fool so then we beg the question, how am I gonna feel like damn? Is Ezra really ever gonna come back? Like he ain't gonna never meet Jason, man. <laughs> not getting Ezra back, bro. We not, not man. We, for, unfortunately, man, we just we not, bro. You no, know, Filoni. I think Filoni told his story already. He gave him his arc, man. I think he's just like it's more about. I think it's really just been about him getting Sabine and Ezra Bean, man. It's really about Ezra Bean. That's the future, you know. What I mean, it's keeping them together, man. And I think I, I think they gonna come back, you know. They'll be in the fight in, in the end, but yeah, as far as ending this season, I, yeah, I don't think he's trying to have Ezra go home. He wouldn't have said that, man. He wouldn't have put that at the end. Where I'm, I'm finally, he's just the second time now he's done this. Can't wait to go home. I'm finally going home. He's not. Going and he home. said that with this one. Like, and the fact that, and this one was like more out of place because, like, hey, dog, what made you feel like you was about to go home? <laughs> yeah, like, bro, it ain't over yet. Like, like y'all now, just went through some shit. Now they now, now so can show up. So can show up. You do feel good though. You do. <laughs> right? No, nah, you do. Yeah, now they like could be doing when that. they got Aaron Rodgers and shit, right? Like, oh yeah, man, we about to do this, bro. <laughs> like we got Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> like tears down ACL. Yeah, first. Tampa, right, yeah exactly. first. But on hard knocks, oh boy, hey, boy, them boys was tough. On hard knocks, they was tough, man. I'm looking at this coach now, like <laughs> noise on hard knocks, man. <laughs> But that that's on you though. Chester's that's on. Out. I mean, that's on the coach. Just like, bro. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. All man. your hopes and dreams was on one player, bro. Like, hey, man, I guess you, you gotta have a quarterback. But come on. Long story short, Ezra saw Soka. And he, <laughs> we going home. We going home. But you you know what it could be though? It could just be that the reason why Filoni keep putting that line in there is uh, maybe he trying to build up something about the fact that Sabine still got a t- like because Ahsoka even kind of she gonna be looking at Sabine like hey, tell me what's going on like. Cause remember, he still don't know. He still don't know that this is like we we don't have a way home, bro. Like like, it, we, she got here on a perg. I don't even. She don't even know how she got there. She just told you. I thought she was dead. She don't even. She didn't even know Ahsoka was coming out there. So you remember I no said. Way. Remember I said I thought it was gonna be uh, young e, Ezra in between Ahsoka and Sabine. It's probably gonna be Sabine. Ahsoka. <laughs> In between Sabine, in between yeah, Sabine and Evra, yeah. like, because Ahsoka done turned over a new leaf now. Like, you think I missed this, miss this reunion? Yeah. Like, you know, this is what it was all about, right? So then, like, when he, when, when they in that, when they in the, her ship and he, and they, the story, he's like, you did what? Like, yeah. <laughs> tr- trust in the force, Ezra. <laughs>